Hello and welcome back. Now we should all be familiar with video conferencing by now. Those of us who are working and working remotely have been using video conferencing tools not only during the pandemic and the work from home aspect of things, but would have been used to this either working from an office place or if you have been working from home for much longer. The IT people are ninjas at this. But as people start to learn from home through distance learning, join meetings from home as well, talk to their friends on a virtual basis when they can't meet up in public places because of the pandemic and because of social distancing and because just the way things are. How can you inject a little bit of comedy and fun, a little bit of light-hearted humour into your meetings? Well, this is possible with tools like Snapcam. Now, I've also featured other tools like FaceRig and Chromacam um, on my channel with different tools like Zoom, Cisco WebEx, Cisco WebEx Teams, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. So how do I get this facility in Cisco WebEx? Well, let's find out. Let's talk about Cisco WebEx Teams. Cisco WebEx Teams and Cisco WebEx Meetings are video conferencing and collaboration tools uh, that a lot of people would be familiar with. You're either in Cisco or you're not. You're either in Zoom or you're not. I mean, really we use a host of applications to do our video sharing these days. But how do you inject that little bit of fun? Well, we've been talking about Snapcam and the Snapchat filters. I've gone over to www.snapcamera.snapchat.com and here from this page you can see people having much hilarity with a bit of green screen and other virtual backgrounds. The ability to pose and have things in augmented reality put on your head. This can add to an awful lot of hilarity in your meetings and could sometimes lighten the load and make you the kiddie with your friends. Typically, I clicked on download. On the PC, you're given a license agreement to look through. I would advise people to read that before installing anything on their PCs. And also in addition to this, if you're installing things on a work PC, make sure you've checked your work, work PC policy and your working from home contract to make sure that installing any applications like this on a work PC, if you're gonna do that, there's not contravene your standards of business conduct. If you're using your own PC or your own mobile phone, then that's perfectly fine. Well, I'm using the PC here at the moment. You can see I've got my system requirements of Windows 10, the minimum processor and memory that you're going to need. I'm well advanced to this in advance with the GeForce graphics cards. I got a 1070 GTX, but be aware there is a minimum standard specification and you're also going to need to have a webcam. Now I'm using the Microsoft LifeCam, which I've had for a couple of years now, and I've got no problems. Once you've clicked on and you've read the licensing agreement, type in your email, tell everyone that you're not a robot and download for the PC or download for the Macintosh. Now, once downloaded, you'll be presented with the Snap Camera interface, as you can see on the screen here. I mean, I've got this expanded, but let's face it, it comes, you know, windowed when you first load it up. How do you first connect it up? So with Snap Cam, you're relying on the feed that is coming into your web camera. Okay, um, there's no problems there. All you gotta do is click on the little cog in the top right-hand corner of the screen. That brings up your settings. Choose your video feed. Now I've got my Microsoft Live camera. Choose the resolution you want to use and then set a microphone. There's also lots of other hotkeys you can do. Show overlays, optimize for green screen if you're using a green screen. And you can also check for updates as well. As you can see, mine is currently up to date. With your camera feed set to what your camera is, so in my case, my Microsoft Life Cam, I can click on back. And then you will see yourself on the preview screen, okay? Now, there's loads of other filters you can put in that people have put up. Some are appropriate, some are funny, some are quite not appropriate. Um, I've put together a few little favorites I quite like. Um, is a good one for neon clicking on the knee on there and then you can see it's replaced part of my face with horns 
uh, and other little embellishments. Or you can turn yourself into a penguin, a bit like Pingu. And as you move around, it tracks your face, and that's great. These, a lot of these are fan-made. Make yourself into a clown. Honk the nose. Uh, or, quite topical, put toilet roll on your head. So, we've now got Snap Cam all sorted out. Here it is. We've got our feed going into it, and we've put an embellishment. How do we get this into Cisco WebEx? Well, like anything, it's all to do with the feed. So let's go into Cisco WebEx meetings. And you can see I haven't got a feed running at the moment. That's perfectly fine. I've just started a meeting. This is the initial lobby. So what I've done now is I've set my feed, as you can see, at the bottom to Microsoft Life Cam. But I want the snap cam filters. So all you do, set your feed to snap camera. And there I am, embellished with toilet rolls all over my head. What a lot of hilarity you're gonna have in your video calls with that. So what you wanna do if you um, want to change the augmented reality embellishment you've got on your head. So <clears throat> into snap, bring up the bring up the um, the aspect there you go there's the interface we're just gonna move that around a bit so we can see what's happening real time uh, on the screen there it is uh, you can scroll through there's all different sections as well I'm gonna go then click on the clown I'm gonna click on the beard which I think is quite good not quite good with that beard um, and then you can also turn yourself into a toilet roll you know, more hilarity as well with other toilet rolls on your head or the good old Viking helmet, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That's the snap camera filter. Um, if we go to what's available and these change all the time. Typically, you can pick something that is more akin to your gaming needs. For example, there's Iron Man. I've got an Iron Man helmet. Um, there you have it. If you want to see your face, just open your mouth. And there you are with your Iron Man helmet on your head. Augmented reality, such as it is. Either way, that's how you get things working in Cisco WebEx. Cisco WebEx teams, very similar. And perhaps we'll do a specific video on that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope this video has been helpful to you. Remember, it's all about video feeds. And we'll quickly go through that again. Make sure your video feed is set here to whatever your webcam is. And when you're in Cisco WebEx meetings, make sure you then select Snap Cam. Or in fact, if you want to go back to normal, you can select your Microsoft Life Cam and then it may work or may not. You may have to t switch, turn off um, snap cam to get that working. Either way, I think it's a good little embellishment and something that can inject some fun into your meetings. See you soon.